Hey everyone, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria. I just got done with the jog. There's the little guy. He always takes his naps after, or while we do our jog. It's kind of our morning routine. And today's video is just kind of random. I'm looking at the sky, which should be completely clear today. And all these planes are just spraying all this shit into the atmosphere. Does anybody know what that is? There's some right there. I guess you notice these things when you're out every single morning when the sky is supposed to be clear and it's not. So I have some people saying, you know, you must be burning more calories than you're taking in. It's calories in, calories out. And while I do a lot of output, you know, some intentional, some out of necessity, um, really, like, why restrict, you know, why even think about it being calories in, calories out? It, it's like such a flawed model. I mean, you would never think like, oh, I'm going to put the minimum amount of fuel in my car to get to this location, right? No, you're gonna, every single time you go fill up your car with fuel, you're going to put well, usually, <laughs> the maximum amount in, so then you have that extra fuel to do what you need to do, right? It's the same concept as <laughs> eating sufficient carbohydrates. They're the fuel for our body. In fact, I'm at the point now where if I don't eat as much as I need, or as much as my body wants, I'll get, like, physically ill. Um, and I think a lot of that's just because my demand's really high, and and, uh, you know, I am dealing with a cortisol level that, you know, gets more elevated than people who don't have three children, a business, and a household to run, and, you know, a fitness routine that they like to maintain. Uh, so, you got to eat enough to just keep your body healthy and functioning well, um, keep that flat belly aesthetic that you desire. So yeah, always put enough fuel in your tank so that whatever comes up in life, you can handle it. And remember that if life seems really, really hard, you just have to level up to it and put more fuel in your tank so that you can deal with it. All right, that's it for today's video. I'm going to continue cooling down and watching the spray more chemtrails into the air. All right, leave any comments and questions down below. I'll see you guys next time.